YouTube. In this week's tutorial, I will be covering how to create and manage publishing lists within Adobe Reports and Analytics. Uh, in order to get to the publishing list manager, um, the easiest way is going into uh, your favorites menu, going into admin tools, and you go to user management. And then from here, you have access to the publishing list manager, and this is where you create your publishing lists. And as I'm going through and showing you how to create them, I'm also going to explain a little bit about how they work and everything. So first of all, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add a new publishing list. All right, so first of all, I'm going to give the publishing list a name. I'm just going to call it demo training, demo training list. All right, and you'll notice that here I have um, an action uh, or drop down where I can check off or I can't where I can select um, a report suite and you can actually do multiple report suites within a single uh, publishing list and by doing so as long as all the reports that you're sending out with this publishing list are basically identical across the uh, different report suites that you select um, you can send to different groups of people different um, the same data from different report suites and um, the reason for doing that is let's say you have a um, number of different sales report suites one for Germany one for Spain one for Italy and they all have the same data but for those specific regional areas and so you have different groups of people who would be interested in like German um, sales data versus Italian sales data and therefore you could then uh, go ahead and create uh, more than one or add more than one report suite and do that so first of all I mean you get to choose the first report suite and then you start click edit to add the email addresses in here and then you notice that immediately following that you then get an action uh, where you can create uh, or you can add another uh, report suite so I could add Let's say, um, let's say that I'm Germany and David is Italy, for example. I don't have um, specifically those, those examples in here, but I can go ahead and edit. And I can say, I'm going to send this to uh, Susie at beta.com. Uh, she wants to know information from that report suite. And here, under uh, from this report suite, I'm going to send it to John at alpha.com. And I'm just coming up with these email addresses on the fly. These are not real email addresses. They don't exist. Um, all right. So, and, and obviously you can have um, more than one uh, person in here. I just have to click on each of these if I want to add more, uh, separate them by a comma, etc. Let's say all of a sudden John is now interested in getting information from both, but Susie is not. I can go ahead and add John here um, as well, and they will both receive um, content from this report suite and John will only receive data from this report suite. So that's basically how um, how to create and how how publishing lists in general work. So I'm going to go ahead and save this publishing list and uh, here it's um, added and I'm going to go ahead and show you how um, it's generally used as well. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to go back out here into my reports and analytics. And publishing lists can be used when you send out dashboards, reports, bookmarks, etc. Anything that you can email um, can be emailed from <clears throat> using a publishing list. So I go ahead and I just click send on this particular dashboard. I can do it from a report, whatever. Anytime you have a send option, you have that option. And then all you have to do if you're going to do a quick send is just click to add and just select the uh, publishing list that you want to send to. Um, if you'd rather do an advanced delivery option where you're actually going to do a scheduled report or whatnot, um, you can actually click it over here and select it as well. Um, and you know do your scheduling options and all of those types of things which I went into detail in a previous video. So that is basically everything you need to know in order to create or manage your publishing lists. So thank you for joining me this time and until next week take care. Bye bye.